Hey, what's up guys? So while we're working on this, I figured let's just add a little more functionality. Let's take it a step further. Uh, and instead of just creating like a blank feature class, let's actually make or import a shape file uh, and create a, create a new feature class based on um, a shape file that we get from like the internet, for example. So I'm going to Google um, world cities shape file, and you can use whatever shape file you have too. Um, this is just what I always use, this populated places, for example. So I'm going to download populated places. And again, this is just, I'm just downloading a shapefile to use so we can import it. So let's go unzip it. All right. So here's our shapefile. Um, so I'm going to go in pro and do what I want to do. I want to, um, I want to, basically practice this workflow in pro. So I'm just going to use the file geo database that pro makes by default, um, just to get the command. So here's the basic file geo database. So in order to get that shape file in the file geo database, we need to, um, say import feature class and the input feature, this is going to be that shape file. So wherever you download or have a shape file, so it's my downloads folder. And then output name, let's just call it world cities. Okay, so now in our, our file database, we have this world cities. So this is what I'm trying to do in a script. So instead of just a blank, uh, feature class. Let's make a feature class based on something. Um, so yeah, the reason we came into pro was to get the command for that. So if I go to view details, oh no, open history, it's using the feature class, the feature class. So I'm going to copy Python command. So let's go back into PyCharm and just going to paste it in. And there's a ton of output here and I don't think we need all of this. So I think let's just Google feature class to feature class. It's giving like a lot of optional stuff here and it's kind of cluttering it up. So I don't think we need all that. So this is what we want. So I mean, it's, it's good to use the pro to get the snippets sometimes, but if you just want it really basic, you can see here, these are the only three parameters that are required. The rest are all optional. So it was giving, it was doing all this optional stuff, but to keep it simple, let's just do it this way. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that and paste their example. And you can see here they have um, so this is going to be the input. This is going to be the file geo database you want to put it into. And this is going to be the name of the, the new feature class. So here we just need to point to our shape file. So I'm going to shift right click, copy as path, make sure you grab the dot SHP, paste that there. This is our file geo database. So remember we have a variable for that already called um, FGDB full path. And then instead of building points, let's just call it uh, world cities, world cities. And let's just say print creating uh, let's say importing cities shape file. And I'm going to get rid of this slash N here because we wanted to add a new line after everything's done for this loop. Um, so we don't want it to add two new lines. Um, okay. That looks good. And I'm also going to add a timer to this script because when I was doing it earlier, I had a timer. So I'm going to just go back to the script I had. And to do that, we're just going to import time and create this start time. So 
just do that and put it at the top of the script and then at the end I'm gonna say this so so again I'm using those F strings again so I just put an F in front of the string process complete and it took and then the variable we're gonna make is time dot time which is the current time minus the start time and we made a start time variable up here so that's that's like the easiest way to time something in Python so let me go back to the directory where I had those file geodatabases just make sure there's nothing here okay so yeah there's nothing there so let's just run this it should work importing cities shape file okay Where's the folder? So here you go, you see it's working. It's taking a little longer because it's doing an additional step now. Cool, looks good. Okay, and also one other thing I noticed from the other video, when I did one of these steps, um, the create file geodatabase, I use this F string here, but it's unnecessary. I could have just said working directory. It doesn't need to be in a string like that. Um, same with this working directory. All right. So let me just run it again, make sure it works. And I'm just going to run it five times just to save some time. Looking good. Okay, took 11 seconds. Let's go in pro and just make sure it looks right. So this is uh, that new file geodatabase, but I need to connect to where all those other ones were. So that's in this directory. Okay, so we have five uh, geodatabases and inside each one we have the blank feature class and then the world cities which was imported from a shape file so there you go you see each file geodatabase has world cities cool so that's that's more useful than just having a blank feature class um so yeah that's that's what i wanted to show you um thanks and and like and subscribe um uh, it helps me stay motivated to make more uh more videos thanks